All right, this is the Boeing Freeway, and just down this way is the Boeing Everett plant, which is where I'm headed for this video. This is the main factory production building here, built in 1967 to produce the Boeing 747 airplanes. This is the largest building in the world by volume, at a staggering over 472 million square feet, or 13,400,000 square meters, which covers 98.3 acres. It's hard to tell just how big this massive behemoth of a building is, but to get an idea, it's 13 stories tall, and you could fit all of Disneyland inside of it with plenty of room to spare. More than 30,000 employees work at the Boeing Everett factory here in Everett, Washington. Like I said, the factory was built for the production of the Boeing 747 in 1967, and that continued until 2023. Now they build the 767, 777, and up until a few years ago, the 787 Dreamliner was built here also. Now the factory tour is very cool, and I definitely recommend it. The inside of the building is massive and cavernous, but I was definitely very disappointed that you cannot bring a camera, a phone, or anything that takes videos or pictures. So no, I could not get any pictures or videos of the inside of the building at all. Other than the freeway, driving by the front that I just showed, this is the closest you can get to the assembly plant. But, it's right over there where they build the airplanes that fly people all over the world. I should clarify that, this is the closest you can get to the assembly plant with a phone or camera. Now, because, as I mentioned, you're not allowed to bring any cameras or video recording devices, phones, anything like that, onto the factory tour, so I can't show you from my own pictures or videos what the inside looks like. So here's a couple pictures from CNN.com and LiveInEverett.com. But it's hard to get an idea how massive and impressive this building really is, because you're only seeing a small part in these pictures. It's like a small city unto itself. Right now we're looking north, and this is Mount Baker you're looking at. Now I'm going to swing the camera east, and I'll swing it all the way down south eventually. And now we're looking south, and you can see Mount Rainier way off in the distance there, which is pretty impressive because it's about 110 miles south of here, so it's not too close. Remember, Everett is north of Seattle. And now you can see a plane coming in, probably going to land at next door Payne Field. And I can't confirm this, but I believe it's called that because that is what you will feel if you try to sneak a camera onto the Boeing factory tour. Now we'll go inside to a building I am allowed to record in. Inside here is where the factory tour departs. And they also have a sky deck above to get a slightly better view, but a very similar view to what I just showed you of the plant. And then also inside, there's a gift shop and a small museum called the Future of Flight. Straight ahead is where you begin the Boeing factory tour. You board a bus that takes you over to it. Then over here to the left is the gift shop. The Boeing Company began just south of here, in Seattle, in 1915. Down in Seattle, you can see the original Boeing building as part of what's called the Museum of Flight. It's a very impressive museum that has a large collection of airplanes inside of it. 
Here in the Everett gift shop, you can see they've got a number of different miniature replicas of different Boeing planes, past and present. The gift shop has most of the normal souvenirs you would expect, such as keychains here. But one thing that really surprised me they didn't have is postcards. I thought that was basically a staple at pretty much any popular tourist attraction almost anywhere in the world. But not here, surprisingly. I was actually going to buy a postcard or two of the inside of the plant since I couldn't take pictures myself. Now I'm going to speed up this little look around the gift shop because, you know, time really flies when you're at Boeing. Whoosh! There's supposed to be a cafeteria here, but there was nothing going on. I don't know what was happening, but if I know these fine folks like I think I do, it won't be long before it's ready to take off again. Now let's head over to the sky deck and get the same view I just had, but from a few feet higher up. And here comes one of the buses returning back from the giant factory building. Here's a little key to show you what you're looking at, some of which I mentioned earlier. So once again, there's Mount Baker off to the north, the train yard, the Everett assembly plant of course is the huge building, the largest building on earth according to volume, the paint hangar you can see to the right, then the delivery center, the air traffic control tower, and way down south is Mount Rainier. And here's a little key to recognize different Boeing planes that you might spot out there. And it turns out these planes can get you higher than a reggae concert. Get on the plane, man. All right, onward and upward. Now let's proceed on to the little Future of Flight Museum. Right away I see a fuselage that might be missing a few other parts. So come on, Mr. Mister, let's make him feel whole again. Take these broken wings and learn to fly again, learn to live so free. And now over there it says there's a kid zone, but I see what looks like a bunch of bathroom stalls. I guess everybody has their own idea of fun.
This is the tale of the massive Boeing 747 plane. It was a very important part of the plane, and if you lose this part, you will be dead. And according to Johnny Depp, dead men tail no tales. Apparently the tail is as large as a six-story building. Oh really? It's hard to tell. But yeah, the 747 was an absolutely massive plane. And it was built here until it was discontinued in 2023. Now let's walk on and have a look at the Destiny Laboratory Module. Boeing has played a large role in NASA's success, including building space shuttles, the Starliner aircraft, the Space Launch System, and has been the prime contractor in the International Space Station, helping with design, construction, maintenance, and support. Well, now that's out of this world. Welcome to the Destiny Module. It is your destiny. Please do not touch cigarettes with lobster claws. Got it. Oh, snap. Now these are fascinating, these little electric pilotless planes, if that's a word. It looks like something out of the Star Wars prequels, but I'd love to sit in it and give it a try. And this little thing that looks like a beehive is the HEPA filter on the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. It's supposed to make the air cleaner and even help filter out viruses. So if you're freaked out about flying on a plane because you might get a virus, it sounds like you can breathe easy. So it looks like this is a mock fuselage for a Dreamliner.
Here's a pretty cool wall with the history of Boeing planes, starting with the very beginning, all the way till current times at the other end. Here's aviation pioneers William Boeing and Donald Douglas. Well, it's a decent little museum, certainly not as good as the Boeing Museum of Flight in Seattle, which is a first-class spectacular museum and huge. But the real highlight here, of course, is the Boeing factory tour. Getting to see that giant building, the largest building in the world by volume, where so many great planes have been made, is definitely a treat. Well, it's time to get going. Goodbye from the giant Everett factory of Boeing. Until next time. Off we go into the wild blue yonder.